This is the Louis T. Network. In the lab room. Who else could it be? For me, Dormant. Louis T, welcome. You are in the lab room. Of course, I am your host, Louis. Thank you for joining me on this program. It's time to get live. It's time to represent. Football fans, what time is it? It's time to get live. It's time to represent. Football fans, what time is it? We'll give you one hint. It starts with play and it ends with off. Playoffs? Yeah, that's right. It's playoff football time. And I'm here to take you down the road to the playoffs in the Seattle Seahawks. It was a very uneven start to the season for the Seattle Seahawks. We're used to this team being a model of consistency. You know you're getting tough defense. You know you're getting timely plays by the quarterback. You know you're going to get a heavy dose of the run. And you're also going to get a team that is almost invincible at home. These are things we've come to know and expect from the Seattle Seahawks. But the start to the season seemed like anything but that, and we saw some things kind of turning this team into a different animal. We started to see some of the fibers of this team being tugged back. Guys wanting more money, no Cam Chancellor to start the season off. It was a rough go of it for the Seahawks early. And by their week nine bye, this team was four and four. And the four and four record wasn't as surprising as is how it was amassed. They had two separate two-game losing streaks and two separate two-game winning streaks. Started the season with two losses, then one two straight, then another two losses, then another two wins. This was a trend early in the season that also worried a lot of Seahawks fans with the fact that they were blowing leads defensively, which is another thing we weren't accustomed to seeing from this team. A lot of that probably could be blamed on the fact that Cam Chancellor wasn't in there, and also Kerry Williams was in at one of the cornerback positions. But nonetheless, blown lead at St. Louis in week one, a blown lead to Cincinnati in Cincinnati, and a blown lead to the Carolina Panthers at home, which sparked the Panthers' undefeated run early in the season. And so this Seattle Seahawks team was struggling. Then you had close calls in wins, but they could have easily went the other way. At home on a Monday night versus the Detroit Lions in the infamous batted ball game. And then of course the Dallas Cowboy game early in the season. This team was struggling, but they were 4-4 and they were staying above water somehow. After the bye, they lose to the Arizona Cardinals on a Sunday night and a lot of people had questions. Have we seen the best of the Seattle Seahawks? At four and five, they were at a crossroad in their season, and then they hit the switch. The Seattle Seahawks woke up, Marshawn Lynch went down, Thomas Rawls got injured, and all of a sudden, the team realized they had to rely on Russell Wilson. Dangerous! Russell! And he stepped up in ways you could not imagine for this Seattle Seahawks team. He showed exactly why they paid him the big bucks in the offseason. And in the second half of the season, he played MVP-like football. Shredding the league and shredding opponents. That shootout with the Steelers may have been one of the most impressive quarterback days of the season and it showed a side of the Seahawks that we hadn't seen from this football team since they've been making the Super Bowl runs. The ability to win a shootout against a high-powered offense. Now it also looked like this team wasn't going to be the same defensively and that they were going to have to score points to win but the defense since releasing Kerry Williams and Cam Chancellor settling in has really started to play better football. That Pittsburgh Steelers shootout sent off a chain of events that saw this Seattle Seahawks team score 
30 plus points in four consecutive contests. This Seahawks team showed the ability to be explosive on the offensive side of the football with Russell Wilson spearheading the attack and having a multitude of backs coming in and out of the lineup and in and out of the roster. And so it was the Russell Wilson show and he was showing that he could carry this team if need be, which was very impressive. The defense started to come along and all of a sudden the Seattle Seahawks found their stride winning five consecutive games. It would come to a screeching halt at home in week 16 to their nemesis in the St. Louis Rams who swept them this season, but they got their act together in week 17 to finish the season out with a bang as they beat up the NFC West champion Arizona Cardinals in Arizona, avenging their loss to them earlier in the season at home, 36 to six. This Seattle Seahawks team is extremely dangerous. Russell Wilson, Doug Baldwin, and even rookie Tyler Lockett are playing all at an extremely high level. They're getting Marshawn Lynch back from injury. I want to see how they integrate him back into the offense because since Russell Wilson has been given the throne and said that this is his team, he's been playing lights out football and to integrate back into the offense, Marshawn Lynch, beast mode, it's going to be vital for the success of this team and they'll have to do it cleanly and not struggle as they are now in the postseason as the number six seed taking on a Minnesota Vikings team that they destroyed earlier in the season, 38 to seven in Minnesota. They'll have to return to the scene of the crime and finish the job once more. We'll see if the Seattle Seahawks as a six seed have another Super Bowl run in them and be the first team to go back to the Super Bowl three consecutive times since the Buffalo Bills of the early 90s. That's the Seattle Seahawks and their road to the playoffs. There's plenty more where that came from. While you're here, subscribe to the channel. If you want more Louis T, be sure to follow me on Twitter at In The Lab Room or you can like the Facebook page at In The Lab Room. That's In The Lab Room on Facebook and at In The Lab Room on Twitter. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Mm-hmm.